Tonight, Unit 2C Culture, Remembering the Past. And now, please welcome your host for the Lordly Mess, what we say tonight, Mr. Fawcett! All right, welcome all of you guys back to our next episode of Learn English with Jose. And um, what a week! And tonight it is the Unit Two C Culture, remembering the past. Now please open your books in the page number number sixteen to do this ex to do this session. Okay. So let's start with the vocabulary part. Working past, match the words below with the definitions. And now first, let me describe the meaning of a word, okay? There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven words, and with the seven definitions, okay? So now I will describe them now. First, it is the word battlefield. Battlefield. Battlefield, battlefield means a place where soldiers fight okay a place where soldiers fight that is chiến trường okay second word that is casualties casualties um casualties means people injured or killed in the, in the battle okay casualties so thương vong, okay. Next word, comrade. Comrade. Comrade means um people who fight on the same side as you. Means your co colleague, okay. Đồng chí, okay. It means đồng chí. Comrade. Conflicts. Conflicts means periods of fighting. It means so mountain. Okay. Officer. Officer here doesn't mean is a room where the the workers work. No, it is about. It means the person who tells the soldiers what to do. It is Sei Wang. Okay. It means Sei Wang. Poppies, poppies. Those are the red flowers. Okay, the red flowers. Cây anh tốt. I didn't really know what does. What is that kind of flower is? But if you have time, you can go to the Google to search for them because I don't really know what is what that kind of flower is. So. And I I only know that it is the red flower, okay? But I cannot describe it more. Poppy is Kento. War. War means a really simple word. A a situation in which countries or groups of people fight against each other. Chiến tranh, okay? Okay, so I have described the meaning and also to tells you the the Vietnamese meaning of those seven words, and I will match with the meanings in the book with the four, five, six, seven. I'm sorry, four, five, six, then seven. How could I only write four? Oh, also the exercise. Yeah, yes, yes. So the exercise number two. Sorry, I did it wrong. Okay, so let's start. Number one. What will match a person who tells what the soldiers what to do? It is the where is it? Officer. Officer. Set 
second world. Uh, people who fight on the same side as you. That means they're calling. It means the comrade. Yes, comrade. Um, chiến sĩ đồng chí. Third world, a place where soldiers fight. That is battlefield. Chiến trường. Number four, people injured or killed in the battle. That is the casualties. Sự thương vong. Like I have electricity in my hand. Number five. A situation in which countries or groups of people fight against each other. That is war. Chiến tranh. Okay. Number six. Periods of fighting. That is the conflicts. Conflict. Sự mâu thuẫn, sự xung đột. And the seventh word, that means the last word, it is red flowers means cây anh tốt. It is puppies. Okay, not puppies. Puppies are the dogs. Okay, so we have done the exercise. Number what exercise exercise number number two and we will move to the exercise number five exercise number five what do they tell us to do exercise number five listen to the color listen to the complete program program choose the correct answers one on 11th November people remember is it A soldiers who have died since 1919 B soldiers who have died are in in all major conflicts since the start of World War 1 C is it soldiers who died in the two world wars D soldiers who died between 1914 and 1918 1918. Number two. According to one British newspaper, the first two minute silence in London, A, finished exactly at 11 o'clock. B, caused vehicles to stop but not pedestrians. C, only involved a few people in the center of the city. D, took place over the entire city. Number three. John McCare. John McCrae was is an A a Belgian officer who died before the end of World War One. B a Canadian doctor and officer who wrote a poem about puppies. C a young soldier who survived the war but never forgot the soldiers who had died. Or D a Canadian doctor who went back to Belgium after the war and planted the puppies. Number four. The tradition of selling puppies to help ex-soldiers and their families began is it A in the UK but soon spread around the world. Is it B in the UK, the USA and the other countries that the same time at the same time? Is it C the one woman's actions? Is it D soon after World War One but stopped later? So we'll be right back with the part two of the Learn English What for say and we will Next part of learning this, we will say, and we will do, we will listen to the tape, and we will do the exercise number five. After that, after that, we'll correct the answers. Okay, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.